So I saw this at my grocery store and it was only like 13 bucks. So I decided to pick it up and give it a whirl. So let's give it a whirl. I'm sweating. So anyway, I have not evaluated this at all. I haven't smelled it. I haven't tasted it. I've done nothing to it. It is. It is very untouched at the moment. So let's change that. <clears throat> okay, on the nose, the first thing that I pick up is that green bell pepper smell, which is one thing that I love about Saab Blanc. I love that peppery taste and smell um, on, on Saab Blancs. Yeah, underneath that, there's like this kind of pear smell. Yeah, maybe some green apple, some pear, and that green bell pepper is like punching me in the face. So I like that. If it tastes anything like it smells, I'm gonna really like this wine. And again, this was only 13 bucks at my grocery store, so I guarantee I can find this. If they carried this at like Total Wine, this is probably like 10 bucks, which is a good price for an everyday drinker. So let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. glasses are fogging up. I danced too vigorously. So on the palate, it's definitely, it's definitely got a pepper taste to it, a green bell pepper taste, but it's not super heavy. I think that there's more of a, more of a like green apple taste to it mixed with, mixed with that green bell pepper taste. Um, it's definitely is an acidic wine. It's not, not as acidic as uh, a lot of like Rieslings I've had, but it's definitely got some acid on here. Yeah, the fruit is, the fruit is pleasant. It's not overpowering and it's kind of a nice, it's kind of a nice mix between all the flavors. I would have to taste this next to the Edna Valley Sauve Blanc, which is my current everyday drinker Sauve Blanc, uh, to see which one I liked more. Right now, I'm, I think I'm leaning a little more towards Edna Valley, which is also a $10 wine. You can find it for less than that. And it's like, I think I've found it as low as like eight or nine. Uh, and these are comparable. Uh, this one is not as peppery as Edna Valley, I don't think. I think this one's a little more, a little more present with the green apple. And I, I think there's, now that I think about it, there is that, that pear taste to it. It's subtle, but it's there. And, oh my goodness, these glasses. <sighs> this is definitely a good wine. I like it. Uh, it's got some nice acid on it, but it's not overpowering. It's not choking me out or anything like that. And yeah, it's decently priced. Uh, again, if, if you could find this for like $10, I think this would be a steal. For 13 bucks, I think Edna Valley's probably a better deal because it's only 10 and not 13 and I think that they're, the tastes are pretty comparable but it's certainly not a bad wine so if you could find this for uh, a little less you know on the lower end of the price point then I think this is a this is a win so 
My final review for, what is this called? Montanza's Creek Winery is a thumbs up. So thanks for joining us this week. Hopefully we have something for you again next week. But probably not. But maybe. Bye. Oh, yeah. This is out of Sonoma County, by the way. This is a California one. Just FYI. All right, now I'm done. Bye.